On today's video, we're talking about practice. Why you should practice. When you should practice. Who you should practice. Now, people making videos tend to say, I get asked this question a lot. I get asked this question a lot genuinely. It's not just something I'm saying because I'm making a video. But they ask me, hey, man, you're a magician. You've been in the game for 22 years. How do you practice? Now, generally, when it comes to this particular question, I've answered it the same way since the beginning of the channel. I've said practice in context. What does that mean? Well, when you're doing magic, you're usually going to be doing magic tricks, meaning you're going to be doing some sort of routine. You're going to be doing some sort of trick, right? So practice the trick in its entirety. If you're practicing the trick and you mess up the trick, go back to the beginning and start over. Do this until you can do the trick over and over again without messing up. Now, here's the thing. That's a very effective method of getting through the trick in terms of the actual methodology. What it's not going to train you for is getting it through with actual real life people. But that doesn't mean you should still neglect the step because this step is very important. What we do is a performance art. I can't stand every time I read one of these forums and somebody's just trying to find a way to get lazy about a trick and think, oh, how could I do this with less effort? Okay, listen, all right? You can only do that when you understand what you're doing. Understand that the effect is everything. What the participant leads with is the entirety of the reason why you're doing what you're doing. Only then is when you could start thinking about things in terms of laziness and doing less because you at that point should understand fundamentally that the effect is keen. But that takes years of dedicated practice. You can't just get that overnight. So practicing in context is very important to the routine in its entirety. Roughly what you're going to say, do it out loud, say it out loud, even if it's awkward, you're not doing it for anybody else other than yourself. So you can be as awkward as you want. Another thing that I recommend is jazzing, jazzing. When you practice, don't necessarily know where you're going. Just start riffing, play around, mix the cards face up and face down, do things that you wouldn't otherwise do. And you're going to find that you invent something. You're going to find that something looks a little bit different, that maybe you could use that and develop that and turn that into something actually new. So if you're not working on a particular routine or anything structured, just riff, play around, do things that you wouldn't otherwise do. You'd be astonished as to what you could actually find with just a little bit of finagre, a little bit of fun when it comes to your practice, which it seems like magicians tend to lack. Practicing is part of the art, so why not make it fun? Play around. Don't necessarily have a rigid structure. If you're not working on anything in particular, if you're not working to develop something, just play. This is something fun, right? You take the card, and then you change it into a different one. That's something I found out just playing around with the cards. Same thing with this fan change that I put on Instagram a little while back. Look at that. That looks great. And that's something that I found out just by playing around, not necessarily knowing where I'm going. And if you have no idea what a labia majora is, you could do this for hours, especially in front of a mirror. You'd be astonished as to what you'd find just by fiddling. One thing I often say in the Pig Cake Magic Academy, oh, what's that? Something that you could join for $5 a month where you get access to over a thousand videos where I go over just this, things like this, tutorials, card magic, coin magic, mentalism. The mentalism is a little bit more expensive. It's $10 a month, but what? It's still two Starbucks refreshers a month. You get access to over a thousand videos and it's not like one of those other magicians where they have this wealth of content and then they stop uploading. No, baby, I upload every single day. I upload every time I can. So usually that's five different uploads every single week, four tutorials, and then one that's a mentalism related bit that you get access to if you join the mentalism tier. But that's still fun, right? You still get access to the old backlog of stuff and the new stuff. So join the mentalism academy, get all of it, help me out and help yourself out. But one thing I often say on the Pig Cake Magic Academy is by just changing one property of something you're working on, you could turn that into something different. You could turn that on its head and find something entirely new. So if the instructions say have the cards face up, have the cards face down instead and see what happens. This is a good example of that. This is Marlowe's face up startler. If you do it with the cards face up, it just looks like as you stroke the card, it changes into one that's a different one. But if you do it with the card face down, look at what happens. It looks like the card just turns face down and then disappears entirely, changing into a different one. So that's a completely different effect that you're getting. Again, just by tweaking one thing. I realized my wetback accent came out there. I, I meant one thing, one thing. So initially I started this video with the idea of practice and how to practice best, which is to do it in context of the actual overall routine. But from that, if you're not working on anything structured, go in a completely different direction. Don't know where you're gonna end up, jazz it up. 
So those are two different types of practice, but they're still doing the exact same thing, which is improving you as a magician. Unfortunately, the best way to improve you as a person is to not improve you as a magician. But alas, that's what this channel is for, to improve you as a magician. So hopefully that got you to think about how to best practice. Uh, I hate that I have a shirt here, right? Usually when it comes to me putting away stuff like laundry, I'm very anal. I'm very Nazi when it comes to that sort of stuff. I don't like having random stuff. I always treat my place as if uh, a bitch is coming over, right? As if I have a shoddy coming over. So make sure that things are at least in a good position. As a matter of fact, speaking of bitches, look what I just got. I just got Ariana Grande's cloud. This is a body spray. Uh, I had previously purchased the cologne, actually the perfume, Ariana Grande cloud. Why? Because it is a dupe of a more expensive cologne called Baccarat Rouge 540. And this one is one of my favorites. This is a good lesson, my friends. Just because it's a product for females doesn't necessarily mean that you can't use it yourself. I love this. This is one of my favorite perfumes, colognes. I'm a man. And this is the uh, the body mist that I've been spraying on myself constantly. Now, the key to this, as I've mentioned before, into how to use cologne as a magician. And then there's another lesson on how to actually improve yourself in terms of your uh, athletic ability um, and uh, how to improve your hygiene rather as a magician is uh, you need to shower. You need to bathe yourself well, and then you could put on something uh, supplementary like a perfume or a cologne. Because if you don't take care of yourself and you have a nasty towel with mushrooms growing out of it, and you have some sort of uh, disgusting bed sheet that you've never changed and your clothes, or just something that you you wash when you feel like it, they, you're going to smell like shit. So you need to uh, properly shower, dush yourself, and then you could put something on like this. And the body spray is actually pretty nice. It smells sweet. It smells good. Gets the ladies thinking, whoa, man, that smells good. I'm going to show that guy what's up. And by up, I mean uh, my uh, clitoral hood. I'll see you again. When I see you again, 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 when I see you again.